Well, hello there, and welcome to the channel. My name is Gigaholic Rex. What exactly is a Gigaholic? Well, it's somebody who uses the Gig apps and is addicted to them and always takes orders. In this episode, we're going to dive into... I was watching Mandalorian and saw him talk about Independent Contractor. Let me get this straight. You want to work for the New Republic? On a case-by-case -case basis, an independent contractor. And it put me into scratching my head and thinking, are we independent contractors? Are we like the Mandalorian? We can take and choose, pick and choose whatever offers we like, and we can decline, and we can do this, and we can do that. And so in today's episode, I'm going to push to make $100 in three hours, picking and choosing the best offers that I can get. Will I make it? Follow along, let's see what we can do, and let's enter the Gigaverse. Are we like Mandalorian? I can take it to any order that I want or decline any order I want. Just like an order like this. Or, no. or an order like this. Yes, 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 yes. Really good one. I'm gonna take that one. Feels like the slot machine, right? When you pull the bells and it just gets one. It's literally 10 items. And the biggest thing is this suitcase right here. <laughs> it's just a, that's, it's a double going eight miles, I think it is. And the first customer is just this one right here. Just this luggage. It's a $189 uh, luggage set. So they must be tipping very good. And the other eight items are like some fruit and some simple stuff. Let's go get those. I don't know what's going on today, but this is, you see this whole area? I'm only looking for this one. I couldn't find it, and here it is. Just sitting on top. I don't know where the other ones are. They're usually over there, but they're not there today. There's a whole section of the other ones. It was it was not too far from where I found the other one. But hey, to just find this needle in haystack. Let's go get some more things. It took about 15 minutes to shop that whole thing. Not too bad. I'm now off to do the delivery. Two stops, first stop, 5.6 miles away, but most of it is highway. Just gotta get out of this Costco and get right onto my favorite highway. Go about four miles and get off, and it's right up the street from there. Uh, this'll take me well under an hour to complete, and let's go drop off the items. Okay, so now we gotta carry this thing. It's kind of awkward. It's light, but it's awkward. Let's go, carry. Actually, it's not that bad. I'm one hand, maybe. It's up here on my shoulder. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Address. First, first delivery completed. Really cool, nice guy. I know this job kind of jades us sometimes as far as all the videos out there about uh, drivers delivering and the customer reporting they never received the item. You will never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. We must be cautious. So with that happening, right, I always, when I, especially when I have an expensive item, this luggage set was about 200 bucks. And so I was concerned. Right? The one thing that didn't make me concerned was that it's a customer who ordered 21 times before. That's the one good part about Instacart. At least I can see how many times this person has ordered before. Um, so you know, usually my ears prick up when it's a first time customer, right? Somebody signs up, orders an iPad or an iPod watch, and then boom, reports it, you know, not delivered. But here, I'm gonna show you on the screen. I've seen this one time before on Instacart. Um, seems like at least they're doing a much better job of requiring things when it is a more expensive item. Uh, I had this happen when somebody had me get them an Apple Watch. The customer actually has to sign on their phone before I can mark the delivery complete. So rang the doorbell, this customer was awesome. He was right there at the door. I know he tipped heavy. And so I really appreciate it. Uh, he signed for the order, I marked it delivered and we're off to do the second delivery. Second delivery is to a repeat customer who I've delivered too many times. And so I'm sure they're also tipping heavy. Total cost of all of this orders together was about 370 bucks, right? So Instacart's probably only paying $7 on it. So the rest of the 50, <laughs> so it's close to $50 in tip 
coming from the customers. These are the kind of customers you like. Great interaction at the door. Uh, thank me profusely. Karma, 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 camellia. Is that how that song goes? I always laugh when I hear that song. Well, the reason that I am singing it is because I just got a haircut and I tipped my stylist $15 on a $18 haircut. And she thanked me profusely. I really appreciated the fantastic haircut she gave me. And because I think I did that, I immediately get a $56 Instacart order. Haven't seen one of those in weeks. In weeks. Oh, that was a gift from the Instacart gods. That was one of the greatest interactions. Fantastic customer. Came out and met me and started trying to carry stuff. I said, no, you don't have to do that. Really appreciate her. And guys, look at this. A $10 cash tip thrown into the order. And she'd already tipped $10 in the app. So $20 tip from her and the first customer on that order. Here's the final payout. Put that up there. The first customer tipped $40, man. $40 on that. Just a luggage set. God. These are the kind of customers who are... I love them. I love I them. Them. They appreciate us. Just like I appreciate my service workers and tip. And I think that might be the good karma. <laughs> I think that might have been the good karma. That's what kicked me off for the day was giving that little bit of an extra tip to the hairstylist. It came back to me. It's what's you call it? Is it called even Steven? Yes. Did I make even Steven? Well, no, I'm really, this was more. I had more money on this order than that simple little tip that I gave. So my haircut was paid for and I still have 20 bucks. I'm trying out this little theory. Because the Instacart gods rewarded me with that, then they threw me this $11 order. I mean, it's only for eight items and it's only going two or three miles from the store. So it started out at nine. I saw they bumped it up a few times. I was already right in front of the store. Already gonna do some shopping. Well, so I might as well get $11 to do it. So the first item I went to get was this Bob Evans mashed potatoes, but they wanted the small little singles. They did not have those. They only had the big one. Now, I did see something cool in Instacart. I went to mark that you know, they were out of this item so I could message the customer, and it showed me, oh, there's a recommended item. So I took that and I picked that. There's so few items, I can't spin up the montage with the music. All right, why don't we go ahead and do it anyway? Let's get this one, and let's spitty in it. Instacart is harassing me. It said it should take me 13 minutes to shop for these eight items, and it's out to 15, but they don't know I'm trying to get my own stuff, man. Huh. I didn't realize it was Earth Day, so. This is the nice bag, reasonable bag that HEB gives out on Earth Day. The lines were pretty busy. It's a Saturday morning and there were a lot of people. So can you imagine a customer who tips $2 on a Saturday morning? Again, it's worth my time, so I took it. But I think it's also because Instacart defaults to a $2 tip. Delivering this order, Instacart got tried to punish me. Look at this. Decline instant add to queue offer that came up. No way. No. And so this great offer came along and we took it and we were able to complete the job. But what? No, what am I talking about? Watch me shop and see how fast I can get this order done. So I came back to Costco to shop for myself, which was the original plan, hoping I'd catch another order. And but I saw a $40 one pop up. I grabbed it. I grabbed that $40 one. I was like, okay, cool. And I checked 12 cases of water to an apartment. No, thank you. All right. Okay, so the lottery was hit. $31 double, 20 items going 11 miles. So mileage is a little high. This is a two or two, uh, two shop, two order. First order is just this Keurig coffee maker that's on sale for 99 bucks. New customer, so hopefully we're okay. Last item. Last item, yeah. Let's go. Gotta see this dog. Put a cute little dress. <laughs> Order delivered. Okay, so this was another where the customer has to sign for it. Nice, uh, nice elderly woman who met me at like a ranch gate out in the middle of nowhere. But for whatever reason, she can't get to the link to sign it. So if anybody else runs into this, just be aware that if the customer is unable to sign it, the only other option it looks like you have is to scan their photo ID. Which, of course, she's like out at this little ranch house. So she, I got to go back and get my ID. It looks like it's a pretty far road to drive around. She apologized profusely for having to do it, but not a problem. I'll wait. Um, I'm betting she's probably tipping pretty good. She's ordered before. 
wonder how the link isn't working, but for whatever reason, she's showing me on her phone, so I, I, I don't believe she's trying to scam or anything. Like, I just think she doesn't know. Um, this is the first time she's ordered through, and she did it through the Costco app, right? Which then tells her it's going to be fulfilled by Instacart, and then she showed me it texted her a link, said to click on this link to go and confirm your order. She clicked on the link and then it just takes her back to like the Costco sign in page where she signs in and then it never takes her to a spot to do the Instacart uh, sign. So very strange, but I'll wait and we'll see how it plays out. And so we made our goal and we did it like the Mandalorian. So here's the screenshots, how long it took me to hit the orders. Three or four banger Instacart orders that we were able to knock out very fast and get our pay and now we can go relax. Now we can go relax. What do you say to that, Grogu? Ah, yeah. oh, okay. I agree. And with that being said, that's going to be it for today's video. And remember, don't let the addiction overtake you. We'll see you in the next video. Meow!